if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about electrostatic precipitator, uh, the device which is used to remove a suspended particulate matter. We were talking about control of air pollution. So in that, the first one was electrostatic precipitator. And this part, we finished in the previous lecture. <clears throat> now let us talk about two more methods which are used to control air pollution. The second one is catalytic converters. And they are used specially to control emission of pollutants from automobiles. Now, in this automobile emission, there are three main uh, things which are there. One is hydrocarbon. Then there is carbon monoxide, rather two main things which are there. Hydrocarbons, uh, then carbon monoxide. And the third thing that is present is oxide of nitrogen. So hydrocarbon is seen in the form of that smoke which is seen uh, sometimes when the automobiles are a little old or the filters are not working properly. Then we see that smoke, black smoke which is emitted. Carbon monoxide is also produced whenever there is incomplete combustion of uh, fuel. And because it is fossil fuel which is used, it contains nitrogen. And that nitrogen is emitted in the form of oxides of nitrogen. Now using these catalytic converters, and as the name tells us, they have catalysts. The catalysts which are used are expensive. Platinum, palladium, and rhodium. These are used as catalysts for converting these harmful substances into less harmful or non-harmful substances. So in presence of these catalysts, these catalysts are going to be here and they convert these hydrocarbons into carbon dioxide and water. So if these catalytic converters are installed in these automobiles, all that hydrocarbon which is produced before it is emitted it will be converted into harmless substances like carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide will again be converted into, sorry, carbon monoxide will be converted into carbon dioxide. And oxides of nitrogen will be converted into molecular nitrogen and oxygen. So all these substances which are produced, they are harmless substances. And all these harmful pollutants are getting converted here and the catalysts are any of these three. So these catalytic converters, they are expensive, but uh, nowadays they must be installed in automobiles. We'll talk about certain uh, norms which have been uh, designed by the government to take care of the emission from these automobiles. Let us talk about one more device which is used to minimize air pollution and that device is known as the third one it is called a scrubber now these scrubbers are used to uh, remove certain gases like to remove sulfur dioxide this is one and the same device can be used if there is extra carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant as such but when we were talking about the basic classification we said 
either it is the quality of the substance or the quantity so carbon dioxide if present in excess then then only it acts as a pollutant so if from any factory from any device if there is more and more of carbon dioxide which is getting emitted then that extra carbon dioxide should also be removed the scrubbers are very simple uh, device which work on again a very simple mechanism these are large containers and in these large containers the polluted air is introduced from the lower part of the container and suppose this air has oxides of sulfur especially sulfur dioxide in this scrubber at the top there is a mechanism by which some fluid or some liquid can drip so from here whatever liquid we want that can drip here suppose that liquid is water in this case so from here water is going to drip and the air is going to rise from here from the lower end the air contains sulfur dioxide and the liquid which is coming is water so the reaction takes place and sulfuric acid is formed sulfuric acid is liquid so this liquid is going to collect here and then it will be taken out so we have removed sulfur dioxide if we want to remove carbon dioxide so <clears throat> the again if we make another same arrangement from here again it's going to be polluted air and this time it has more of carbon dioxide now the liquid which we want to drip from here is slaked lime so the liquid which is falling is calcium hydroxide it is going to react with carbon dioxide and we will get calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is a solid so that solid dissolves in this liquid and this milky liquid which has this calcium carbonate in it will be removed and clean air is going to come out of these scrubbers so the basic idea is that the pollutant should be removed depending upon the pollutant we would use different types of devices like electrostatic precipitators are used to remove suspended particulate matter then catalytic converters are exclusively used for automobiles and from automobiles there are three main type of pollutants which are uh, released or produced hydrocarbons are there carbon monoxide is there and nitrogen oxides are there all these are produced as a result of burning of fossil fuel we use petrol or diesel and if there is incomplete combustion these two are produced as a result of incomplete combustion so this petrol diesel which is undergoing combustion if there is little less supply of oxygen then these two pollutants are produced and from any fossil fuel there would be nitrogen content containing compound produced because fossil fuels contain nitrogen so this oxide of nitrogen will also be released if we use these catalytic converters so this device would use these catalysts which would help in conversion of hydrocarbon into carbon dioxide and water carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and oxygen so the substances or the gases which are now released they are normal without any harmful effect and if we want to remove certain gases like oxides of sulfur sulfur especially so2 
sulfur dioxide or carbon dioxide, excess of carbon dioxide, then we can use the device called scrubber. Mechanism is from the top, some liquid has to drip and the polluted gas has to be uh, pumped in from the lower point. The gas is going to rise, the liquid is going to drip from the top and the reaction would take place. In this first case where we want to remove sulfur dioxide, sulfuric acid will be formed by the reaction of SO2 and H2O and here there will be calcium carbonate formed. Here the reaction is between carbon excess of carbon dioxide and calcium hydroxide. So both these gases can be removed and the clean air now can be released into the atmosphere. So this is uh, or rather we would say these are the three main devices which are used to minimize air pollution. From the automobiles this air pollution is maximum. So uh, the government has introduced certain uh, norms which are known as BS norms. So what is BS? Earlier we used to use Euro norms and then why we are shifting to clean fuel like CNG. All these things we'll take up in the next video.